How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we'll be talking about two platforms for web design or website creators being Squarespace and WordPress. So we'll be going over the key differences between the two as well as their main fundamental features, going over the pros and cons and ultimately deciding which of the two options is the better. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So starting off with WordPress, um, here's what the interface looks like. And the cool thing about WordPress is its flexibility. So if you, if you guys are someone who's experienced with um, coding or web development or have um, experience using plugins for developing your website, then WordPress is the uh, place for you. Or I should say the tool for you. Now, the cool thing about WordPress is it has a lot of um, applications and variety when it comes to building your website. So with WordPress, there's no limit to uh, how, how creative you can get with your website because of its plugins integration. So if you guys go to uh, the plugins page or the store page, you can integrate all of these to help you build your website. Now, uh, the downside to WordPress, however, is that it's not very user friendly. Well, I will say that it's not super hard to use. It's not super easy either. There's a bit of a learning curve when it comes to using WordPress to build your website or your CRM database. So if you guys are a tech novice, then I wouldn't recommend WordPress as a first platform for building a website. Now, on the other hand, Squarespace is a lot easier in that regard. And the reason for that is because Squarespace um, designed their uh, website builder or tool with ease, ease of access and convenience in mind. So designing your website in Squarespace is as easy as clicking on an element and simply dropping it onto the web page. So where you want it to be uh, will be will ex will be uh, reflected upon the website when you guys go to publish it. So it's that simple. Like let's say I were to add an about page. Um, let's do. Let's actually go to. Okay, let's add a new. Uh, okay, event page for this. Or we could create like a gallery or a library of videos, like so. It comes with all of the built-in templates that you need to actually build a website. So from here, you just simply drag and drop without any coding involved. So if you're someone who prefers to have full control over building your website, then go for WordPress. However, Squarespace is more intuitive when it comes to that specific function. So to show you guys what I mean, let's say that I were to add um, an element here, like a like a scheduling and booking appointment button. So you can choose one of the templates, you can drag and drop, and it's that simple. So which of the two is the better? I'd say if you're a beginner, go for Squarespace, but if you're um, a bit of a, a tech savvy web developer, then definitely go for WordPress. So hopefully this video helped you guys out, and if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And yeah, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.